What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix the crash on stored up or the crashing on stored up issue in Satisfactory. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start running to the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody it's going to be to navigate to your taskbar or just use the shortcut in order to open up your task manager. You're going to navigate down, right click task manager. What I want you to do next is going to be to navigate to the top left corner, just ensure you're sticking around processes. And afterwards, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And afterwards, just type in S in order to find satisfactory. If nothing pops up, you're fine. If something pops up, just simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to end this. Uh, the task manager again and the next step is going to be to take your satisfactory or your steam shortcut right on your desktop and if you don't have it on your desktop simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click on the windows symbol and use the windows search function in order to find it so once you found it simply drag it right back on your desktop let's quickly come back take your shortcut right click it navigate to run as an administrator and pop it let's pop it up if it pops up obviously if nothing pops up you're going to simply right click it again, navigate to the very bottom, click on the properties, click on the compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8. Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. And afterwards, I just want you to double click it, simply start it and launch your game over the launcher or launch your game. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that it could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.